So this is the 2010 Mazda CX-7 I just bought. It's got 95,000 miles on it. It's in really good shape. It's pretty plain Jane though, nothing fancy. Anyways, needs brakes. Got bad vibration on the front and on the steering wheel when you hit the brakes hard. So this is a Texas vehicle. Moved to Minnesota in 2015, so it's had five winters here, I think. So there's five years worth of corrosion, salt. That's what it looks like. So I just bought some coated, I think they call it G-coated. supposed to last longer, prevent rust, rotors. Off eBay. That's what the box looks like. Nice box. There's the coating. They call it G-coat. I think they're all called G-coat. I've got other coated rotors. There's a company I bought it from. So, like I said, eBay. The name of the company on eBay is called Transit Auto, I believe. There's a part number for 2010. You can see it has corresponding part numbers for Napa, CarQuest. And then you can also see Made in China right there. So this company apparently buys them from China and distributes them. Uh, let me see if I can get this bag open. Okay, there we go. There it is. Looks fine, no rust. And this thing was inside the box that says this product is in a rust retardant bag. A quick drying anti rust oil is applied on the rotor that inlay the metal without greasy feeling. Thus, there is no need to apply brake cleaner prior to installation. Wow, never seen that before. So it's got let's see, screw holes. Uh, should have one bolt hole right there. The two screw holes. There's, this is some kind of a, I don't know if this rotor's OEM or not, but of course it's got these indentations right there. This one does not. So, well, let's take this thing apart. Oh, and I also got uh, some of my semi-metallic pads because it's, I'm in Minnesota, and that is French. I'm in Minnesota, and it's cold here, like six months of the year. In fact, it's about 20 degrees outside right now. You can see my breath. In the garage, got the heater going. It's about, I don't know, 45 degrees in here probably, maybe 50. Oh, this even has, that's French. Do not discard this kit. It is critical that these hardware clips be replaced when installing new disc pads. Huh. What is all this stuff? When installing, never seen any kind of instructions before on boxes. So there's all your shims, your pads, of course. Doesn't look like there's any type of grease. A lot of times kits will come with a little bit of grease. There's no grease in here. Just your shims. So the name of this 
These pads are called Positive Plus, and the name of the rotor is Genius. So these were less, I think they were like $78 shipped. Free shipping, 78 bucks. And they came from, uh, I want to, no, it wasn't California, I want to say Illinois. Let's find, find the label. Oh, Champagne, New York. Yep. Okay, so here's the eBay ad. They're up to $82 now. When I bought them, they were $78, I believe. There's the guy's name and feedback rating, 99.6. So he's got good feedback, 8,000 feedback. Free shipping, and it says Indianapolis, Indiana. There's his pictures. Top rated seller, it says. I don't know why they don't list the name. Why doesn't he list the name of the rotors? I mean, they were called Genius, and the pads were called, I mean, they had a name. It says premium lifetime warranty, two day delivery available. So, lifetime warranty is probably for manufacturer defects. See, brand he is abbreviation. There's some part numbers. G coding. Whenever you buy any kind of coded rotor, it usually says G coding. has some pictures exclusive g-coding all right let's go take the rest of the uh let's go pull those off and he's got a nice ad a lot of information let's go pull those off and compare okay so here's the pads there's the old old pad new pad But all the notches and everything line up perfectly. Same height. But look, there's the old pad. Look at all the meat on the new pad compared to the old pad. And one thing I noticed was here's the this is the that's the inside pad. But the inside pad was worn down a lot more than the outside pad. And when I pulled the pad out, the inside pad. The shims, so it had like three shims in there. Or backing plates there, I guess they're not shims that go on the back. It just kind of fell apart. So I assume this one has, I can't really tell that it has more than one backing plate. The new pad definitely has one thin backing plate. It's pretty easy to see. But other than that, um, it looks like they are exactly the same. The pad on the new pad is contoured down. Hmm, don't know what that's about. Anyways, so the rotors. Rotors match up, same height, same width. The holes line up. Um, the only exception is these dimples in here. And no dimples in there. So, that's a coated rotor. Like I said, there's all the rust. I'm trying to knock the old rotor out. I don't know how long this has been on here. But that's, you know, salt corrosion. I'm wondering how much this coating is actually going to prevent that. We'll find out.